What's up, Diana here. For today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation from ColourPop. I ordered mine from the Ulta website. This does retail for $16. They do not have the full shade range at Ulta when I purchased this like a week ago, um, but it is going to launch on the ColourPop website with their full 42 shades. Now to start, this is oil-free, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, and it's vegan. It's supposed to have a medium buildable coverage as well as being buildable. It's also described as having a natural finish and it's infused with coco coconut water and hyaluronic acid, pretty similar to their Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I will use it once in a while, but I feel like it has like a weird texture, so I don't often reach for it. Um, but I, you know, sometimes will. So I still have it here. Okay, and then to start off, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with this Tatcha Silk Canvas. I'm gonna put it on one side of my face. No, you know, yeah, put it on this side of my face. And I'm going to spread it on my cheeks, like half my nose, kind of pat it in. And this primer is just supposed to help with the smoothness of my skin and kind of filling up the pores on your skin. So I got mine in the shade 100W. There are three medium warm shades. Um, and I got the middle shade. I'm gonna do the beauty blender on this side and then I'm gonna use a brush on this side of my face. So here is a tiny bit. I'm gonna go in with the sponge. Right off the bat, it feels very feels pretty hydrating. It melts into the skin very, very nicely. I think the shading will be all right. I feel like this would be like a medium, light, like a light medium coverage. I feel like you can definitely build this up. And I do see it having a more natural finish. It's not luminous but it's not like matte and then with a with this um real technique stippling brush i'm just gonna pick some up and start applying it to the side of my face this is blending out so beautifully like there's absolutely no streaks on my face whatsoever because usually when i use like a stippling brush i will go in with beauty blender to just smooth everything out but this is looking really well there are no streaks it's not adhering to any of my dry areas around my nose. Oh, and by the way, I have a combination skin, so a slightly oily T-zone. The rest is kind of dry-ish, and then I have dry areas around my face. Let me see if I can cover up these two little marks that I have on my face. I feel like it does build really nicely, but to say this is like medium to full i can't really say i feel like this is more of a very natural wearable like everyday kind of foundation like this for me i would still wear this this is pretty light just gonna want to show you guys a little bit of close-up i'm going to turn to the window so you guys can kind of see it in natural lighting this is how my face is looking it's looking very beautiful my face feels very hydrated and it feels very lightweight on my skin as well okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and i'll check in with you guys in a second guys i'm back i finished my makeup i'm actually stepped outside i didn't realize you guys can hear the um 
washing machine in my room so I went ahead and came out here and I also wanted to show you guys how it looked in like full natural lighting this is how it looks like on my skin with all my makeup on I did a lightly set it under my eyes around my nose and a little bit on my forehead as well as I used a Therbin Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and then I wanted to show you guys an outdoor swatch of the foundation it's a beautiful like warm yellow toned color i definitely am really happy with the color i chose this is perfect for my skin we'll list some of my other foundation matches down below if you guys are interested and then the current time is 12 25 and i will check in with you guys later today guys what's up i'm back it's going to be oof, it's going to be nine pretty soon and so it like it's been about eight hours and look at her i think this looks pretty freaking good um this is definitely not like super oily to me at all like this is not bad at all especially for eight hours there is no there's no breaking of makeup in any part of my face like the foundation is intact in every every area in my face including my nose which is super oily right now as you can see it looks super smooth on both sides there's ba there's really no difference between the side that i primed and the side that I didn't, they both look equally as good. And I'm only I only have like oil here, my nose, and a little bit of my forehead. Everywhere else is completely fine. This is normal for me, for my skin type. It didn't crease throughout the day either. I didn't find that it oxidized at all either. So that is really good. Overall, guys, I am super like i'm super impressed and excited that this is looking this good like i would probably if i was out or something like i would be okay looking like this obviously i would blot a little bit even if it wasn't with powder but just like with a napkin which i'm gonna show you guys hold on i'm gonna blot on this side with some paper There you go. Like, look how good that looks. And I blotted the tiniest bit. That looks great. Like, if I was out, this is what I would do. Like, I'm not the kind of person that brings a powder. But if you do bring a powder, I also kind of want to like test out how it'll look if I just were to blot with some translucent powder. I'm just going to grab it on this sponge take off the excess and then apply here like tell me this doesn't look great like this looks amazing i am so impressed with this foundation guys like so impressed you guys don't even know. I'll shut up now. I feel like I'm overhyping it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm showing you guys on camera um, how it's looking. And this is definitely going to be a new favorite. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm sure it will um, continue to be as great. Definitely going to test it with um, some different primers. Maybe a primer that um, allows foundation to really stick to your face i feel like if you get a primer that can do that this will definitely last so much longer without getting um very oily on your skin of course that all depends on your skin type as well but like for me that i'm not super super oily um but i still have tendencies to get a little bit oily on my t-zone i think um just getting like a primer that is going to really grip on this 
this foundation or even maybe just like a mattifying pr primer on those areas and I think I would be solid like for like 10 plus hours for sure anyway that was my first impression slash review for you guys I hope you guys enjoy let me know if you guys are thinking about picking up this foundation or not do not forget to like subscribe and comment down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys again soon bye